Rising up over the plain north of Albany are the jagged peaks of the Stirling Range and the granite domes of the Porongarups. These high points in the landscape have their own climate and support islands of unique flora and fauna that have evolved and survived dramatic geological changes in the Earth's crust. More than 1,500 plant species occur in the Stirlings, most of which occur nowhere else, creating a wildflower wonderland in spring. Towards the southwest corner, there are forested wildernesses. The Jarrah and Mary forests in the Darling Range catch the moisture-laden onshore winds, and their rivers turn to rapids in the winter months. Further south, there are towering carry trees, which rise to heights of 85 metres, dominating the landscape. And the pockets of ancient, giant, gnarled tingle trees are testament to past eras of higher rainfall. These forests of the southwest are home to a large number of marsupials and bird specialists, such as the black cockatoos and the numbats. Large, cool rivers flow amongst the giant trees, and on the coast, streams give way to estuaries and windswept heathlands, providing stunning recreational opportunities. Heading back towards the coast and northwards, we discover the extremely diverse and colourful flowers of the coastal sand plains. This area is exceptional in wildflower season. Over 2,000 plant species occur along these coastal heaths. That's more than in the entire British Isles. The flora of this Kwangan bushland is closely related to that of the Cape in South Africa. At least 124 bird species also rely on this flora. And the area is critically important to the survival of whole nesting species such as Carnaby's black cockatoo. This botanical richness is second only to that of the Fitzgerald Biosphere Reserve along the south coast of the ecoregion, which has the most concentrated diversity of plant species in Australia. East of the Fitzgerald Biosphere, in the far southeast of the ecoregion, are the Esperance Plains, which are ribboned with a stunning series of coastal salt lakes. These lakes are host to many flora and fauna that thrive in their high salt levels, including rare species of birds such as the hooded plover. And on the western edge, surrounded by all these regions, is the Swan Coastal Plain, made up of soils from the sea and the ancient lands within. It is here that the city of Perth is located, with a population of 1.8 million. Weaving in and around Perth is the Swan River, the arterial feature of the city. From its catchment area in the wheat belt, it travels several hundred kilometres to Perth and out into the ocean through the port of Fremantle. It supports an astonishing 140 species of fish and 87 species of birds, being vital for migratory stopovers, 